Hey everyone, it's James and in this tutorial we're going to take an unordered list. We'll take the standard list bullets away and we'll put our own images in in their place. And uh, as you can see, we're going to use these images. Now I'm going to give you a set of six different images that you can use and play around with. The only two we're going to play with in this tutorial are the star and the pin. The pin's a little more complex and we'll start off with the star image first and um, we'll get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so if you want to download the files, you can come to my website. I'll put a link in the below bar if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, just below the video, there's a button. It says download the Dreamweaver exercise files. Extract it to your desktop. And uh, you should have a folder. I might leave some finished files in there as well. Now, with the folder, if you go to site, new site. And we can recreate the site from there. It's called bullet dash list so that's the name of the site or the folder as well um, so if you look for bullet dash list and if you just click on it okay so bullet dash list is the name of the root folder i'll leave an images folder and a css folder in there as well the css folder is going to be uh, empty so um, if you just call the root folder bullet list and uh, then select the images folder and uh, if it doesn't um, if it doesn't show up when you click on it you can type in images from the menu there and click OK and if you've done that right you should have something that looks a little bit like this you'll have an empty CSS folder and six images okay so what we need to do is we need to open up a blank HTML document so we'll go to file new and we'll select a blank XHTML 1.0 transitional and press create. Okay, we'll go straight into the code and I'm going to split the body tags and we're going to create an unordered list. So to create an unordered list, you need a UL tag. So I'm going to open a UL tag and a closing tag and I am going to press enter in the center of there just to make a little space. And I put a little code at the end to say that it's the end of the unordered list. And then we're going to put in four list items. So that would be LI tags. And they always accompany an unordered list. You'd have an unordered list. And inside of that, you'll have the LI tags, the list tags. So it's LI and then close it with an LI tag as well. And we'll do that four times. Now you'll notice if you press the refresh key or if you click inside of design view, although we haven't populated the list tags yet with any items, you'll notice that the bullets appear anyway in design view and that's because they automatically appear after you put in list tags. Um, and then when you put in any names or um, list items inside the list tags, the text will appear to the right of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna enclose the unordered list inside a wrapper div. So I'm going to type div ID and wrapper and then I'm going to close the wrapper and put a closing code at the end so we know that it's the end of that div. Okay, so I'm now going to click on the refresh and you'll see that the wrapper div is displayed in design view now. So let's populate the list items and I'm just going to put in a list of um, Adobe software. So I'm going to type in Dreamweaver, Fireworks, Photoshop and uh, flash okay so let's create our first CSS rule we'll go into the UL tag we'll just click inside the UL tag and then we're going to create a new CSS document as well so we're going to click on the new CSS rule button located there and uh, Dreamweaver wants to know if we want to target the unordered list inside the wrapper div and we do and we want to target it with a new style sheet and we're going to save the style sheet into the CSS folder, the blank CSS folder, and I'm going to call it bullet list. So just click OK, and then we're going to go by the source code to the bullet list CSS and uh, target the, all of the CSS rules ourselves with hand coding. So you'll see that there's a wrapper selector there for the unordered list, and uh, we're going to type in list dash style colon, and you'll notice all the different bullet lists that are inherent that you can choose. And uh, if I just pick circle and end that with a semicolon, you'll see that it changes out the bullet list style there. Now, we're not going to use any of the default styles. We're going to actually put in our own bulleted image, our own custom images. So I'm going to delete that whole line. 
Now before we insert any of our own images, we need to take the old list bullets out. So we'll type in list dash style dash type colon and select none from the drop down list. Put a semicolon on the end and press refresh or click in design view and you'll see that they completely disappear. That's brilliant. Now we're going to create a new CSS rule. We'll go back into the source code and we'll click inside any of the list items. I'm going to click inside the first one and then click on the new CSS rule button. And Dreamweaver wants to know, are we targeting the list item in the unordered list inside the wrapper? And we are. And we'll go back in to our CSS document and you'll see that it's created the rule for us there. So we just have to populate that rule. Now the first method I'm going to show you, we're going to put in a list style image. So it, it will type in list dash style dash image colon and we're going to browse for the star. So I'm going to go into the images folder and we're going to look for the star which is a transparent PNG. There we are, that fireworks one there. And we'll click OK and end that with a semicolon. And if you press refresh or click inside design view you'll see that they appear as the replacement bullet list images. Now in general if you're using this method, uh, the list style image method, then you should probably put the images, make them smaller than the text that you've actually got. See I've got a problem here so um, I'm going to adjust the line height to 25 pixels and I'm going to change the font size to 24 pixels and they sort of line up in the center there. Now this first method works nine times out of ten like I said but sometimes you have to uh, find a different way to do things. Now I've got a pin image here and it's a transparent with a shadow so it's a bit longer on the bottom than it is on the top so if I was to put that in I'd have a lot of problems positioning it. So we're going to use a background image um, selector instead. So inside the unordered list I'm going to type in background dash image and colon and we're going to auto browse and find the pin and then we're going to click OK and put a semicolon on the end and we'll find that that scrolls, it puts it all across the screen okay, on every list item. Now the reason is because Dreamweaver is set to automatically repeat so we'll type in background dash repeat colon and set it to no repeat and we should end up with just the four images there. Now more often than not if you put in the next selector which is background dash position and then set the position to the center it will align itself at the center of the text and if you put it left it will go as far left as possible. Now it will do just that but the problem we've got is that it's got a shadow on it so it's slightly longer on the bottom so we're going to have to use different positioning methods. Now I'm going to push it out with, to the left with some padding. So I'm going to push it away from the text with a bit of padding and I'm going to put in 45 pixels and you see that it pushes out but they're kind of overlapping. Now if your images were smaller than the text then at this point you wouldn't even be needing to do this but it's a good job I use this example so that we can amend it on the fly. Now I'm going to change the font size to 20 pixels and you can see that it still is an issue so I'm going to adjust the line height and type line dash height and 30 pixels and we can see it pushes out but there's still a little bit of the image missing at the very top of the pin. Okay, so let's go back into the code and I'm going to put in some page breaks between each line. So I'm going to press shift and enter in between each list item and that will spread it out a little bit. If I press refresh you'll see that it does just that. Now you might not necessarily want your text to be this big so we're going to have to find a different way to position. Now I'm going to just adjust the line height slightly to 35 pixels, that will get the whole image in. Now I'm still not happy with the positioning, um, the text is slightly lower than it should be because of that shadow on the image so what we need to do is bring that image down slightly and we'll use a different method we'll, on the background position we'll take out the center and left now on the x-axis I'm going to set it to 0 pixels I want it to stay where it is and on the y-axis I'm going to adjust it to 10 pixels and that's a little bit too much it's gone right down there so I'm going to adjust that to 3 pixels and that's, I think that's almost there. Okay, I'm going to adjust it to two pixels and I'm going to preview it in Firefox. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the globe icon and preview that in Firefox now. And uh, I, I still think it needs slight adjustment, so I'm going to adjust it to four pixels along the y axis. Now, if I was to type in minus four pixels, it would push the image up rather than down, just so you know. Okay, so let's preview that one last time. 
and we're done. Okay, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.